Insanity, I am the beast that he's cancel me. Granted, he is handsome, handsome with the bread, but underneath, way under feet, I cannot see the soul. Up in the grease, like the holes in the ozone, up in the heat, like holes in the snow globe. You reach a beast, get pro, check the logo. Hey, H, kill haters, call the docs, patience when I'm stuck in pray surveillance. Watch my patience, take your plate right off the table. Tell them, wait here, waiters waiting in my water. Fishy rappers hit the cadence, is a tip. When I drop down, you know it's time for prayers. Think I need a moment, man, I'm zoned out. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free enchilada. See. What's going on YouTube? It's Noxel and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, today is Friday. And as you guys know, on Friday, we are back with more ERB. Now you guys know I read the comments, the good, the bad, the ugly, the troll. And the next highest requested one that you want to see me do is none other than Rasputin versus Stalin. Now I literally just got done reading a biography on Stalin. I will post a link to that below because it was really well written biography so yeah i'm really excited to do this one i i really am also quick announcement guys this saturday we're gonna do our first ever erb live stream tomorrow tomorrow 1 p.m est come back out it's always a great energy on the lives but that's right we're gonna be taking erb live but anyways stalin rasputin step up to the plate let's see what you got oh it's a little different Hey, already we shout out one of my favorite video game characters of all time. I'm talking about the arch nemesis to Mario, none other than Wario. And Joseph Stalin was always known for his uh for his stash that he used to rock, so he's getting trolled on appearance right away. Let's go. Cool mustache, Wario. Try messing with the mad monk to be sorry, yo, how many? I love, uh, I love his cadence. Try messing with the Mad Monk. He's got like that raspiness to his voice. I mean, I have no idea how Rasputin spoke, but uh, this is obviously an imitation of how he's speaking. And look how serious those eyes are right now. Those eyes would just burn holes in your soul. One more time. Cool mustache, Wario. Try messing with the Mad Monk. Do be sorry, yo. Hum. You guys don't know we pause a lot. I mean, a lot, a lot, because we break stuff down. That's just that's what we do. But anyways, try messing with the the Mad Monk. He, uh, he kind of grabs down there. Goes a little bit of Slim Shady. <laughs> Is that, uh, you know, like messing? Like messing with the monk, implying certain things. You know, there's been controversies with churches in the past and messing with priestly figures and children. Is that a, is that a little bit of slight at that? When he's just grabbing down there? And Rasputin was known as a monk. But fun fact about him, he was never actually ordained or uh, recognized officially by the church as a monk. He just made like a pilgrimage to a monastery, had a religious experience, and uh, that automatically converted him in his mind and his world to a, a monk. And yeah, he definitely had different ideas. He was unique. One of the reasons he was able to move into Russian aristocracy because he was actually born a peasant in Siberia. But uh, I think the aristocracy was just really bored at the time. You know, rich, had a lot of money, way too much time on their hands. And then he starts making appearances in St. Petersburg and... Yeah, he's kind of kooky with his ideas, very dark, very uh, withdrawn. And then there's obviously the rumors of his big old uh, PP as well. So got around with the women, created a lot of scandals. And yeah, I think he made life exciting for a lot of the uh, aristocrats. And that was sort of the intrigue with him and how he worked his way up in the world. All right, history lesson over. Let's get back to the bars. Cool mustache, Wario. Try messing with the man, monk, do be sorry. Yo, how many dictators does it take to turn an empire into a union of ruined estates? It's a dis how many dictators does it take to turn a union of empire into ruinous states? And that is a direct reference to the USSR, which was one of the greatest superpowers at the time. You know, it was like the yin and yang to the United States of America and the Cold War, and we know all of that. And uh, the, the rise of the union, I can only assume that he's referring to the rise of communism. And as we saw, ironically, communism was supposed to give back power to the people what happened was that, you know, very selfish dictators consolidated all the power, like Stalin, and uh, kind of took the power away from the people and made all the decisions. So it was a huge bastardization of what communism was idealized to be. Don't be sorry, oh, how many dictators does it take to turn an empire into a union of ruined states? It's a disgrace what you did to your own people. Whoa. Your daddy beat you like a dog and now you're evil. If I'm told did to your own people. I love that cadence. Now you're evil. Man, that's harsh. And yeah, I mean, Stalin had a father who was an alcoholic. Stalin was from Georgia. He was always kind of known as a wild child. He was a delinquent in school. 
Um, yeah, a lot of a lot of interesting psychological studies relating to how Stalin was and why he reigned the way that he did compared to his upbringing and as a result of his childhood and getting beaten all the time and trying to replace certain things that were missing or lacking in his life. And yeah, he was always embroiled in uh, turmoil and controversy. Yo, oh, people. Yo, daddy beat you like a dog and now yo, evil. Oh. You're from Georgia, sweet Georgia, and history books on folk. Is that a Ray Charles shout out? You're from Georgia, sweet Georgia. So like we said, Stalin is from the country of Georgia. He ain't from the state of Georgia, but he connected that in the homophone, like the state of Georgia, the Ray Charles song. Singing to Georgia, sweet Georgia. All right. You like a dog and now you're evil. You're from Georgia, sweet Georgia. And history books on Folger. As a messed up motherfucker bit in the mind. You're a superpower, but it paid the price. With the history books on Folger. As a messed up motherfucker bent in the mind. And that's kind of how history is told now. But it's an interesting play on history because, you know, Stalin controlled the state. And what's really funny about Stalin is he had such revisionist history to consolidate and control his power. And, um... You know, a lot of times other political figures and, and rivals that he would push out, he would go and doctor photos that he had with them and make it look like they weren't even there, like he never had an acquaintance with them. And he even put out fake photos of him and Lenin together to try to show how close him and Lenin were uh, after the revolution happened when he tried to assume power after Lenin's death. It books on Folger, as a messed up motherfucker bit in the mind. You're a superpower, but it paid the price. With the endless destruction of Russian lives. You're a man of steel, I spit kryptonite. Let's go. I love that bar. That's a heavy one right there. You're a man of steel. I spit kryptonite. Man of steel is in Superman. Steel referring to, you know, the way that he ruled. <sighs> it kind of a stretch with the steel because the iron would have been better, wouldn't have it? Because the Iron Curtain, the USSR at the time, controlling, you know, Eastern Europe, controlling all those lands and basically the divide between the two. And Stalin was representative of that. I would have taken it that way, but I do like the Superman. Clark Kent bars and Kryptonite being the weakness to Superman. He's a weakness on this battle to him. Man, I'm doing a lot of talking right now, aren't I? Hey, the prize with the endless destruction of Russian lies. Yo, a man of steel, I spit Kryptonite. Big dick mystic known to hypnotize. I can end you with a whistle. Big dick mystic known to hypnotize. Yeah, he was a mystic. And uh, the hypnotized thing comes from, didn't uh, Saar Nicholas, who, you know, he worked his way into his court, but like his kid had a condition. It was a blood condition. Uh, was it? I can't remember what it was exactly, but anyways, he used um, hypnosis to heal him, apparently. And then after that, uh, the royal family considered him a mystic and had these supernatural powers and abilities. So I love how he's bringing that into the rap. Also, I don't want to get past uh, Stalin's ruthlessness and what he did to his own people, his own Russian people, because, yeah, he killed millions upon millions of people, uh, you know, when he consolidated the farming system sent so many peasants to the gulags, I mean, sent so many enemies to the gulags. I mean, even if you just looked at him funny or he was having a bad day, he might uh, send you to the gulags. And then also in the war too, I mean, there's so many cases of the Russian army not being prepared and he just used the, because uh, Russia is such a huge population. I mean, he would just throw lives into a problem. Like Stalingrad, soldiers were showing up, they weren't even properly armed and he was sending them into battle. So you can say that he took even more lives, not just the lives that he sent off to Siberia and executed and killed and yeah what a ruthless ass motherfucker anyways and you with a whisper to your wife and yeah he got in with uh sar nicholas's wife alexandria didn't he yeah again he hey he was a womanizer uh he was pretty fucked up in the head too just like stalin was pretty damn messed up and uh yeah i like those lines Nice little bow to tie on top of that. Hooking up with your wife. Sick, no, the I can end you with a whisper to your wife. Looked into my eyes, you perverted witch. See the soul of the man who made Mother Russia his bitch. Ooh. You think I killed the fuck up? Oh, man, I love the aggression in this delivery. Look into my eyes, right? You see the soul because, like, the eyes are the windows to the soul, as the saying goes. And... Russians refer to their homeland as Mother Russia, right? Mother Russia. So I love how he takes the mother scheme and he's making Russia his bitch and being in control of it. Yeah, very interesting. See the soul of the man who made Mother Russia his bitch. You think I give a fuck about my wife? My own son got locked up in prison and I didn't save his life. You got off easy when they pickled that. I mean, normally that would be a diss against yourself, but... Stalin is just showing how ruthless he is, and this is true as well. Like, his own son was captured by the Germans 
And uh, yeah, Stalin didn't even care. He was just like, yeah, let him let him die. And Stalin was embarrassed by his son because his son tried to commit suicide, failed at committing suicide, and Stalin mocked him for not being able to aim correctly, right, for his weakness. And then his son did commit suicide in the end, didn't he? Yeah, because he ran into an electric fence in the concentration camp and, and died eventually. Yeah. Son got locked up in prison and I didn't save his life. You get off easy with a pickle that boost cock. I'd leave your neck in a noose and a trench and shot. Ooh, that flow right there is next the level. Fuck my wife, my own son got locked up in prison and I didn't save his life. You get off easy with a pickle that boost cock. Got off easy when they pickle that moose cock. I love how it goes pause and then he comes in with that fast flow and then he stops and slows it down again. Nice cool little stop start flow. Easy when they pickled that moose cock. What is what is a tale? Because again, uh, Rasputin supposedly had enormous uh, willy, and uh, there's like, I don't I don't know what the stories are, but it, it, his enemies, right, when they went to kill him, uh, cut off his dick, basically, and saved it and preserved it. So I think that's where that line is going with the moose cock. Locked up in prison, and I didn't save his life. You got off easy when they pickled that moose cock. I'd leave your neck in a noose and a trench and shot. Your whole family shot. All your wizard friends shot. I didn't want to sold you pierogi. Shot. <laughs> <laughs> All your wizard friends. I love how he's trolling them again for being this mystic. And then, again, showing his own ruthlessness. Anyone who sold you a pierogi. Like, any, any excuse to just kill a motherfucker. I'll just do it because I'm Stalin. Shot. Shot. Shots fired. Then a trench and shot. My whole family. Shot. All your wizard friends. Shot. Damn. Anyone who sold you pierogi. Shot. Starving for days so you waste away. I even crush motherfuckers when I'm late and say. Tried to let it to Trotsky out. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Shot. Starving for days so you waste away. I even crush motherfuckers when I'm late and say. Crush motherfuckers when I'm late and say. Because what was it? It wasn't it, uh, it was at his funeral. And he was put in the, uh, the mausoleum with Lenin. Uh... You know, hundreds of thousands of people showed up, and then they couldn't control all the people, and then literally people were crushed in the aftermath of it all. I think that's what that line relates to. I, I never sold you pierogi. Shot. Starve me for days so you waste away. I even crushed motherfuckers when I'm late and say. Uh. Pride of Lenin took Trotsky out of the picture. Drop the hammer on you harder than I. Pride of Lenin took Trotsky out of the picture, and that that was it. I was reaching for the name, and I didn't want to talk about it, but. They just helped me with the name. So Trotsky was supposed to be the successor to Lenin. And Trotsky was a huge influential figure in Russia. And actually when uh, the Red Revolution happened and the Bolsheviks and Lenin's party, right, who brought forth communism, when they assumed power, it was Trotsky who actually led that revolution. And Trotsky was supposed to succeed Lenin, but Stalin worked his way in. He manipulated the press. He manipulated stories. I mean, again, he had pictures of himself removed with Trotsky. And yeah, he just basically exiled Trotsky and yeah, relentlessly chased him because wasn't Trotsky. Trotsky was killed in, in Mexico by a uh, KGB agent. Man, I'm really going into history today, aren't I? But I guess that's what we do. Waste away. I even crush motherfuckers when I'm late and say. Pride of Lenin took Trotsky out of the picture. Dropped the hammer on you harder than I bitch slapped Hitler. I have no pride. For <laughs> Dropped you harder than when I bitch slapped Hitler because yeah, I mean... One of the reasons why Hitler lost the war, and I know that we take a lot of credit for it, but the Russians got to get some credit too, because Hitler tried to pull Napoleon, invade Russia, wasn't prepared for the winter, was overstretched with supplies and troops, and ultimately gave Russia time to flip the tables. To... Words are difficult. And ultimately, it gave Russia time, because of their massive population and industry, to flip the tables, you know, manufacture more weapons, to raise more armies, and then counterattack. And eventually, they made their way all the way to Berlin and, uh, yeah, dealt one of the uh, crushing blows to the Nazi regime. Oh, my God. And I just got the out of the picture line, and I talked about it. I didn't even make the connection. Took Trotsky out of the picture. Literally, he did that. He... He was like the original Photoshop before Photoshop came out. That was Stalin. He Photoshopped Trotsky out of the picture. Nice. I have no pride for you who ruined what this. Thing. What? What just happened? The picture. Drop the hammer on you harder than I bitch slapped Hitler. I have no pride for you who ruined everything my revolution was doing. Everything my revolution was doing. Is this Karl Marx? Slapped Hitler. I have no what? pride for you. We got you a cameo. Who ruined everything my revolution was doing to stop the bourgeoisie. My father bonded your classes. The proletariat masses. It brought me here to spit a thesis against both of your eyes. 
fought the proletariat masses, right? So what he's going on about is, again, Marxism. I'm not sure if this is Marx or if this is Lenin. Hang on. I gotta, I gotta check this one more time. Hammer on you harder than I bitch slapped Hitler. I have no pride for you who ruined everything my revolution was doing. Yeah, because Marx was never actually responsible for the revolution. His idea sparked the revolution. This has got to be Lenin. This not the bourgeoisie. I fought the bondage of classes, the proletariat masses. Because the, the bourgeoisie, you know, the, the ruling classes of power, the proletariat was a working man. So what Lenin tried to do was try to, you know, overthrow the bourgeois, basically. And... Yeah, establish communism, establish Marxism. But as we saw, it was a very bastardized version of Marxism in the end. Be here to spit, a spit a thesis. What the hell? He, he wrote a, uh, a whole thesis. Was it the April thesis? Ah, oh, knocks his brain. I was not ready for Lenin to come into my life right now. But yeah, his thesis basically on Marxism and his revolution. I fought the bondage of classes, the proletariat masses that brought me here to spit a thesis against both of your answers. Nice. we do. <laughs> we what we just got an rl stein reference shout out to goosebumps there's childhood nightmares for me right there so he's saying you look like frankenstein because what was the story rasputin one he was really hard to kill he tried to kill him multiple times and they didn't and then two i think it was like at his funeral or something something happened and he had like a nerve trigger and he like sat up in his grave and people thought that he was literally frankenstein it's hip-hop chowder red over white i mean one of the great mysteries of life here i mean do you do you guys go for new england clam chowder with the white chowder or do you go for the the red tomato based chowder i mean think carefully before you answer that and comment below we do judge on this channel all the time because the Tsar's wife can't do shit tonight again because he got in with the Tsar. He got in with the Tsar's wife. And what was it? When uh, World War I was going on and the Tsar got called away, Rasputin and basically the Tsar's wife ruled. And uh, that that's what really historians will argue that that is one of the reasons that led to the revolution and, and sparked so much dislike and distrust of the government because Rasputin was an evil motherfucker. And then obviously when the government got overthrown because they equated a lot with Rasputin and his wife and their ideals and even the nobles got worried about Rasputin and that's why he was killed because some of the Russian nobles were like, yo, you're, you're messing up the system and the balance of power that we have. I mean, we're going we're gonna to get our asses overthrown here. No, actually, Trotsky was supposed to be his right hand man, but I get it. I get it because, yeah, I mean, Joseph Stalin was supposed to follow the ideals of Lenin, but he didn't. Joseph, you were supposed to be my right hand man, but your loyalty shriveled up like your right hand man. That's a bar and a half, right hand man, like your right hand man, because Stalin had an accident when he was young, and it like crippled his hand and shortened his arm, and in so many pictures, that's why he like puts his hand in his coat, so you can't actually see his hand. Right man, but your loyalty shriveled up like man, there's a lot of history in this. There is a lot packed into this one. This is crazy. Right hand man, my whole future was bright. You let your heart grow dark and stop the greatest revolution since the birth of Mars. Ooh, there we go. There's Marx and the Marxism right there. Stop the greatest revolution. And yeah, I mean, Lenin was pretty evil too. I mean, he would kill his enemies and yeah, committed quite a few mass murders and atrocities. But I mean, when you compare Lenin to Stalin, yeah, that's like here to, to just here. And at least Lenin was trying to further Marxist ideals and try to create a more equal system of distribution of, of resources. Um, yeah, and Stalin just wanted to have power for power's sake and yeah he was he's just mean he's a mean man did somebody say Bert Marx? Yo, I'm the host with the most class notes, asshole. <laughs> what is happening in my life right now knock knock i love how he comes through he comes through the wall this has got to be gorbachev who tore down the Berlin Wall and was ultimately, uh, yeah, very instrumental in the destruction of the USSR and the ending 
of the Cold War. And I love that birth marks because he's got a big birth mark on his head. But birth of marks from Lenin's lines, birth of marks. Anybody say birth marks? Knock, knock. And then he just comes on in. And yeah. Well, this is happening. This is real life. Somebody say birth marks. <laughs> look at that face. With the most class Did he look at us and just break the fourth wall? Did somebody say birth yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Knock, knock. He's breaking the fourth wall. Get it? Got a little visual double entendre going on there. That's clever. Marks. Yo, I'm the host with the most class notes. Assholes made a mess and the war got cold. And the war got cold. Shout out to the Cold War. And then Glasnost was basically uh, the government being more transparent. It was his big campaign. Glasnost, Glasnost, Glasnost. He was trying to hammer it home in people's minds. Like, you know, we're not going to be so secretive anymore. We're going to be more open with what we do and our actions. And, and you know, you can hold us accountable for what we do very different compared to how the russian dictators before him were ruling like stalin Yo, I'm the host with the most class i like this sound made a mess and the war got cold <laughs> shook hands with both ronalds reagan and mcdonald's no doubt <laughs> if your name end with in time to get out I have if your name end with in time to get out i love that's a terrible Russian accent by me, but I love that because Lenin, Rasputin, Stalin playing off the end, their names end with I-N, get on out, and then he shook hands with Ronald Reagan, obviously like we talked about, USA and uh, the USSR coming together, disbanding the Cold War, agreeing to nuclear disarmament, a lot happened, and then he let McDonald's in, and when you let McDonald's in, welcome to America, people. How do you like those fries? Super size. Reagan and McDonald's, no doubt. If your name end with in, time to get out. I have the ball to let Barishnikov dance, player. Put on that wall. With in, time to get out. I have the ball. That is fucking PewDiePie. What is PewDiePie doing again in epic rap battles? I mean, look at that serious face. And to let Barishnikov, Barishnikov dance, player. I don't. I don't know that one. I'm. If I had to guess, he let some type of ballerina it says it's pewdiepie a male ballerina play in the ussr which ussr very controlling stalin killed a lot of gay people as well he's very homophobic so maybe that's what that's going dance player put on that wall like the kool-aid man oh yeah you two need yoga you need to shout oh yeah has anybody seen dane cook kool-aid man if not at the end of this video please go watch that because it's fucking hilarious but just made me think of that like the kool-aid man like breaking through the wall of your family home that would scare you shitless wouldn't it he's referring to breaking down the berlin wall never heard it put in that way very clever humorous bars put on that wall like the kool-aid man oh yeah you two need yoga you need a shower and you all need to learn how da did he just do like a russian da you two need yoga because y'all y'all are stiff motherfuckers over there and you rasputin yeah you dirty we don't know what's going on down there you need a shower and some more stuff oh yeah you two need yoga you need a shower and you all need to learn how to handle real power ah. did somebody say real power oh no what, what is happening why are the ones that you guys always request just like not what i expect them to be i, I wanted to talk more about stalin and just to flash my big stalin brain and now I don't get to do that anymore. Real power! Did somebody say real power? Die, you want to mess with me? Flow switch? With hot boys when I'm crushing these beats. Flow switch. <laughs> this fucking, this has to be Putin. This has to be Vladimir Putin, man. And I love how this is set up like the beat, kind of like cheesy, techno-y. Makes me think of the Eurovision contest. And I wonder if that's what they thought about. The Eurovision contest where uh, every country in Europe puts forth a singer and they sing. Sometimes you get really cheesy memes from it. That is exactly what I'm thinking of here. And that is a bar that we need to break down. Mess with me. I spit hot borscht when I'm crushing these I spit hot borscht when I'm crushing these beats. Because borscht... Uh, God, now this is taking me back to my summer days when I was living with Russians. They're made with beets. They, that's what it is. They're made with beets. I, I can't describe it any better than that. It, it's made with beetroot, isn't it? So get it? Made with beets when I'm crushing these beets because you're crushing beets to make borscht, but at the same time, he's crushing these literal beets on the mic. That's clever, man. His beets blow it up like a tuba while I'm falling in Cuba. Doing judo moves and schooling every communist suka. Suka. <laughs> he just called them bitches in Russian, basically. Suka. Nice. 
I know some Russian, but the Russian that I know I'm not going to repeat here because I don't actually know any good Russian words. In Cuba, doing judo moves. So judo moves, balling in Cuba. Obviously, we know Cuban Missile Crisis. Cuba's always had connections to communism, to Marxism and all that. So Vladimir Putin went and visited Cuba. Also, he does judo moves because he's kind of like the Chuck Norris of Russia. I mean, motherfucker knows karate. He used to be a KGB agent. Uh... Big game hunter. Yeah, he is kind of a badass. Definitely. Last man who attacked me lived a half-life. Half-life is in nuclear radiation because basically he's done this to journalists. He's done this to ex-KGB agents. Uh, what's the name of the current guy? Why can't I think of my current events? There's a, a current opposition leader to him who we tried to poison as well and uh basically just poison them with like nuclear radiation it's been tracked only like the u.s china and russia have this capability because it comes from nuclear radiation and he just basically would would poison them and yeah half-life lines there you go you know what you're doing we're trying to bust a rhyme like putin shout out to bust rhymes XKGB, so he is XKGB, secret Russian police, and then the CCP, that is, so we called it the USSR, but in Russian, they referred to the USSR as the CCP, so I take that as him, like, in a way, Putin is bringing back, like, the glory days of Russia, and, yeah, he's a, he's a pretty mean motherfucker, too. Are we done? Because I still see, like, 30 seconds, and I'm just going on with this beat. TikTok. That's it, isn't it? I just, I, I don't want to be rude. It's still got a place. So I'm just going to stand here awkwardly and bob my head. That's happening. Comment down below, please. Any other ERBs you want to see me do because you know I read them. Also, tomorrow, everyone, we are doing our first ever ERB live stream on this channel. 1 p.m. EST live stream to ERB. Come out, watch me break my brain, make fun of me live. It will be a good time. I'm going to give the winner of this one to Putin just because of that catchy ass beat, that amazing singing at the end, and because who else rolls onto an ERB without a shirt on and just owns motherfuckers? But anyways, ERB, you are Knox Hill certified. So if you guys liked today's video, please subscribe, notifications on, do all that. I love you. I will see you tomorrow. It's Knox Hill. Take care of yourselves. I'm out.